Okay, so AOM Academy video, video number two, the fundamentals of scouting. So the first little section, I'm going to talk about scouting during the Archaic Age, Archaic and Early Classical Age. And then the second half, I'm going to um, talk about sc scouting later on, later on in the game. So yeah, I'm going to passively do a little build order here, just kind of a kind of pay attention to what I would be doing during the uh, Archaic Age for Poseidon. Um, but yeah, I'll focus on the scouting part. So, and of course I... <laughs> here we go. Start a new game. There we go. Okay, so where's my hunt? Let's get my hunt going. Alright, so here's my scout. First of all, I hotkeyed my scout right away. Um, we'll go over hotkeys in a later video. Um, in fact, maybe that'll be my next video. But first of all, I hotkeyed my scout so that no matter where he is on the map, um, I'll be able to find him quickly. Um, maybe I should even start by saying what is scouting? Scouting is revealing, f during Archaic, it's revealing the black areas of the map so that you know what the map looks like, where your opponent is, where your resources are, where your enemy resources are, etc. Um, scouting is one of the most fundamental basics of the game for playing multiplayer or competitively because you need to, you definitely need to see the map, see where the resources are and everything because that completely changes um, what your strategy may or may not be. So one thing that, one very basic method of scouting is to take your scout and um, run semicircles around run semicircles around your starting base okay and here let me just do some build order stuff there we go okay running semicircles around your base so that you slowly um, reveal the black eventually you'll see um, hunt spots etc where town centers are I already found two of my town centers I already found a decent hunt spot forward another gold mine, etc. Um, during Archaic Age, the main... a main goal that you want to accomplish through scouting is to, first of all, find Hunt. Um, hunt is a very... it's the key to um, your economy during the beginning parts of the game. So you want to make sure you find Hunt first and foremost. Other things you want to be looking for are town centers, uh, town centers where, you know, second gold mines, etc. Um, usually, I'm not going to pay attention to my build order very much, actually. Um, so, yeah, it's pretty simple to just do semicircles around your base and slowly reveal the map. If you pay attention to where I'm clicking my scout, if you can see the circle is the uh, radius where his line of sight is, I try and click the scout so that the edge of his line of sight just barely touches what I already have revealed. So you see that right there? That way my scouting is as efficient as possible. As he's running around um, do making these semicircles around my base, around what I've already scouted. Forgot my little UI thing. Um, yeah, it makes it as efficient as possible to make sure you scout just scout as much of the black as possible with your um, with your scout. Um, yeah, having said that, one thing that you want to try not to do, and it comes with experience, is you want to try to always be revealing black areas of the map. You want to try not to have to run through um, new or areas of the map that you've already scouted. Um, for example, I'll show this on a different map, um, but, well, yeah, I'll show it on a different map, but if, let's say I, for some reason, wanted to, I don't know, I wanted to run over here and scout, scout over on this side for some reason, who knows why. I don't want the path of my scout, I don't just want to click over there and have the path of my scout run through what's already scouted. It's, it's a waste of time to um, run through and run around and scout what you've already scouted. Does that make sense? So, 
instead of clicking back over to that side, I want to try and make him run through. I want to try and make my scout run through the black area so that while I'm going to wherever my end destination is, I'm, I'm revealing the fog of war at the same time. Okay. And all the while I'm keeping, I'm trying to keep the edge of that line of sight radius around that where the edge of the revealed area is. Okay. It's not going to be perfect. It's not going to be perfect, especially with, you know, depending on where forests are and whatnot, but still generally you can, um, you can do a decent job with trying to keep that line of sight right around the edge of the, um, edge of what you've already scouted. Um, there's a couple things I want to mention. First of all, you, I hope you've, um, watched me click here. You can click directly on the minimap. Okay. You can click directly on the minimap for the scout to run to a certain area. Okay, so there's a little trick. Another little trick is shift clicking. And again, I'll probably do a video on this later, but if you, if I click the scout here, and then I hold shift, if I click somewhere, and then hold shift on my keyboard, and then, uh oh, I have a, I have a Mermillo running after me. Um, if I click here, hold down shift, and then click over here, the scout's gonna run to this first um, point right here, and then over to this point second. So as you sh hold down shift, that gives your unit another um, destination to run afterwards. Okay. So I can go like what I like to do when I scout is click into the black and then I'll put little destinations around the black so that as I'm, as my, my scout on his own, He'll be running around and um, scouting on his own, essentially. And it's not perfect, since you see, I mean, there's a forest there that I didn't really anticipate. So you want to stay, you know, make sure you pay attention to where your scout is running. But that's a little trick to, um, it's a little trick to make sure your scout is constantly, constantly running. Constantly running around the map. You never want to have him just standing there doing nothing, okay? So I can, you know, shift click him here, 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 and then go back to my base and, you know, do stuff in my base, okay? And all the while, while I'm managing my economy here, he, my scout is over, he's still going, he's still running, running around the map, still scouting the map, okay? So that's a fun little trick that you can do is shift clicking, okay? There he goes, there he goes, like that, oops. There he goes. Okay. Um, so there's a little trick for scouting. Shift clicking, clicking directly on the map. And you can shift click directly on the map. On the mini map, that is. See, I mean, even though I've already scouted those areas, you'll, you can see this little, there we go. We can watch him run around that little um, path that I directed him to follow by shift clicking. Um, yeah. So a couple of things I want to mention is that revealing the map during the Archaic Age, like I said, you want to find things like town centers, like second hunt spots for your economy, etc. You want to find your, your resources, your town centers, um, so that you can decide what strategy you want to do. You also want to find your enemy's town centers, your enemy's second hunt spots, um, gold mines, etc. Because same thing, depending on where your enemy resources are, that also might um, it might influence what your strategy, what your strategic decision is. Um, if there's, I mean, if you're playing against a, if you're playing against an Egyptian player, and there's you know a middle town center, they're hunting in the middle, and there's a middle town center with a whole, maybe on marsh with a whole bunch of hunt around it. Well, there's like it's pretty likely that that um, Egyptian player is going to take that town center center in the middle so that he can safely hunt the all the hunt that's around that town center. So if you if you have scouted the map and you can see little things like that, then it gives you a good idea for um, what your opponent is doing, and it also gives you a good idea that if you whether what your strategy is going to do if you want to try and stop that Egyptian player from getting that middle town. Well, not specifically Egyptian, but any player getting a town center in the middle. Things like that. Um, you'll know, you can notice maybe if the gold is really, you know, if the enemy gold is really bad, um, really far outside his base. In fact, if looking at Red's map, 
It's unlikely that he has any gold in what I have not scouted. So his gold is there, there, there. His gold is fairly exposed. Maybe that changes my strategy to where I want to try and gold starve. So making these decisions, you want to try and make these decisions as soon as possible during the game. So you can execute that decision and have your economy set up. So you want to, one, two things. You want to have your scout running around the map revealing the fog of war, the black areas, as constantly. You want to have him constantly running. Um, and also you want to make sure you're finding your, you know, you're scouting your opponent's side of the map. Therefore, this corner down here, this corner over here, maybe that's not the most important um, parts of the map for me to be scouting. <clears throat> Even though that's the path that I took in this specific example, as I was running around, oop, and I just found a whole bunch of army. Um, anyways, maybe those areas of the map are not as important as scouting my enemy's side of the map. Okay, I am going to um, go to the main menu, start up another game on. Um, let's try. Let's try Oasis. <clears throat> All right, let's try it. I want to see if I got a good map spawn with um, on this oasis. One thing that I do want to pay attention to, or what I want to note, is um, well, let's see if I can show a good example with this map of not wanting to scout what's already scouted. Now it looks like this oasis is not going to give me a good spawn for what I'm trying to show. All right, never mind. One thing I do want to mention, though, for with scouting, is that each civilization, each civilization, and each god has a different method of scouting. So right now, I'm playing as Isis, and generally, Isis uses um, uses a priest to build obelisks to scout. Okay, so whereas um, before I was scouting with Poseidon, um, Greek, and Greeks already have the Catascope of Scout to scout around their base from the beginning. Um, Egyptians don't have that, they start with the, you know, the pharaoh and the priest. <clears throat> so um, every civilization and every god has a different method of scouting. Um, like I said, Isis specifically uses these obelisks, building these obelisks around the map to provide line of sight. So one thing you should do is you should find out the best method of scouting for whatever civilization you're playing, or whatever god you're playing. Um, Norris get Ulfsarks, starting Ulfsarks. Um, Set gets the starting Hyena. Um, yeah, Atlanteans have the little oracles, the three little oracles. So what you want to make sure is that you know, you know the best method of scouting for whichever god you are playing or whichever civilization or whatever god you're playing, okay? Um, with Egyptians, you want to try not to scout with your pharaoh. Sometimes it's necessary. Let's say, for example, I, I eat all of these berries right here, and my uh, my priest, my priest, it doesn't look like my priest is going to find really much hunt. And there's some hunk monkeys over here. Oh, found some zebras there. Um, but let's say the zebras don't exist there. Um, then I'll want to use my pharaoh to scout the opposite side of the map from where my priest went. So one thing about scouting is that you want to make sure you're planning ahead. Okay, that, Okay. yes, in this specific map I have these zebras I, right here that I could go to um, and eat after I finish the berries. Although to be fair you should go directly to the zebras. Um, but still, we're only talking about scouting. So you... Usually you'll want to keep your pharaoh um, powering the granary, but sometimes you might want to scout or might want to bring your pharaoh over here to scout the opposite side of the map. Um, okay, there's another thing I want to mention. So I'm playing Isis again, right? And my... Um, I use my priest to build the obelisks to scout this side of the map. One thing that you can also do is use goats or sheep or uh, pigs, cows 
to also scout the map. So unfortunately they don't have a lot of uh, a very large amount of line of sight. They have a small line of sight. But still, they are, you can use them as a method of scouting as well. So maybe I'll want to send my priest this way to scout. I want to send my priest this way to scout with obelisks, and maybe I can scout a little bit right here with my sheep, with my goats, to um, reveal this little bit of the map, just to help me find resources that much faster. Okay. And I hope you notice that I shift clicked my goat around the black area, I'm trying to manage the line of sight. Um, what's it called? Not radius. It's the diameter. There we go. Line of sight, um, so that. I don't waste too much time scouting the same areas. Um, but anyways, yeah, you can shift-click your pigs or goats or cows or whatever as well. You want to be careful with that, though, because your enemy ha also has a scout that's running around the map. So you don't want to send... I don't want to send my goat way over here to scout this side of the map because my, you know, my, it's likely that my opponent is going to find the, my goat and I'll lose it. So goats are usually used for scouting small little, maybe there's like a back corner that um, needs to be scouted. They're useful for doing things like that. Okay, maybe that little bit. In fact, this little bit right here, I can use um, a goat right there to go scout that little bit and then walk back to the town center. Okay, so you can use, um, you can use goats to scout as well. Okay, um, yes, so there's shift clicking. There's pigs and goats. Um, every civilization and god has a unique way of scouting, so you want to find out where that is. You want to try and manage the uh, either the diameter of line of sight or the radius of the line of sight um, for whatever method you're using to try and manage, to try and make sure there's no overlap in what you're scouting. To try and make it as efficient as possible. That might overlap. Oh, that's, that's pretty close. This obelisk might be... Bam, there we go. Eh, this is maybe a little bit too far away, but it was a decently placed obelisk. Okay. Um, you want to make sure your scouting method, your, your scout, whatever it is, it's always moving around the black map, the black areas of the map, so that you can scout as much as possible, as fast as possible. Yeah. Um, and also, you want to make sure that you scout your enemy's resources. Um, as well as yours. You want to try and find hunt and gold and um, settlements as your resources as fast as possible and then go and scout your enemies as well so that you can decide what strategy to do. Okay, so that's that's the generally the scouting 101 during the Archaic Age. Okay, um, one there's another thing, another aspect of scouting is that even after I've revealed the entire map um, let's say it's later into the game, five, six, I mean, 10 minutes into the game, 15 minutes into the game, you can still be scouting that far into the game. Um, and I will show you why. Let's pause this real quick. And we're going to watch a little part of a stream real quick. Okay. So this is TSM player um, playing against Green Sea Squash. I actually think I casted this game a couple of weeks ago. Um, it's a, it's, he does, player always does that. He's a famous Greek player and he always does this with his scout. So he's, I knew that his stream would have a good example of this. Um, okay. So not every, not every civilization has a permanent scouting unit. Greeks just happen to have the scout, uh, the catascopal scout. I don't know if you can see it, but that's it right down there in the corner. Okay. He's, they're playing on Mediterranean right now and that's down there. That's his little scout, Katascopa scout, right down there. I'm um, scouting green sea squash's side of the map. Okay. So let's watch what he does. Um, try and pay attention to the little mini map. He's controlling his boats and whatnot. But. Hang on, it'll. There we go, right here. Yep, okay, doing a little bit of ship micro, yada yada yo. Etc., etc., etc. But what he does with his Catascopo Scout, you can see on the mini-map, he's pretty much scouted almost the entire map, right? And now, look at his look at his Catascopo Scout right there. You see how it's right next to the town center? Can you tell that? see that right there? I wish I had the recorded game so that I could actually maximize the, um, the little mini-map right there. But his Catascopo Scout 
the line of sight is just touching that town center. So once Sea Squash starts building that town center, um, it turns, you know, red. Since his color is red, it turns red. So you'll be able to tell when your opponent is taking a town center. Okay? And you can see over on this side, that little um, unit right there, that's a Minotaur. It's his, he went, he advanced through Athena, and so that's his free myth unit that came from, spawned from his temple. So he sends his, um, he sent his Catascope Scout on that side of the map to check that town center, and he sends his Minotaur over on this side of the map to um, have a constant line of sight on um, the town center. And of course, right now he's kind of, the Minotaur's kind of chasing after, I think it's like a Wadget or some other myth unit or something, but eventually the Minotaur, you know, ends up over, um, over on that, over on that town center. So that way, player, right now, they're fighting pretty hard on water, right? It's Mediterranean, so usually, you know, you're fighting on water, um, but it's, it's also common, since you can take, um, town centers in the classical age, they're playing this game on, um, the original Age of Titans, um, expansion. So you can take town centers during the classical age. So now he has line of sight on both town centers. And so he'll know whether or not Sea Squash is taking a, a second town center. Maybe he's taking a third town center. Maybe he's taking no town centers. If he's taking no town centers, what does that mean? Maybe it means he's going heroic instead. Maybe it means maybe if he takes two town centers or even a second town center and then soon after a third town center maybe that means that eh, he's not going to be fighting water all too hard anymore so having your scout whatever it is it doesn't matter if you're playing isis and you have those obelisks around the map or if you're i mean playing greek and you have the catascopal scout if you're atlanteans and you have the oracles standing in a you know in a strategic position you want to make sure that you're all you have as much line of sight of the map as possible all throughout the game so that you can make strategic decisions based on what you see okay another common place to um, have line of sight is on second and third gold mines so that um, you know where your opponent is taking gold after their um, starting gold mine runs out you might want to have an oracle stationed somewhere um, to I don't know to maybe see an incoming raid or something like that Okay, so you can use you can use your you can use units. Um, it doesn't matter if it's a designated scouting unit like a Catascopo scout, or maybe it's just a you know a Hippican or a, you know a, a Norse raiding cavalry. Um, doesn't matter what the unit is, but you want to be scouting all throughout the game so that you can see what your enemy is doing. You can see what his decisions are, so that that you know that'll that'll affect what your decisions will be. Um, yeah. As the game moves forward okay so scouting during the archaic age and scouting during um, you know later in the game the archaic age you generally want to slowly do little um, so you can do semicircles around your map slowly revealing it eventually you want to go oh you can see right there you can see right there you see yep sea squash has taken the town center and I don't, I can't, I don't think player is able to completely deny it with the Minotaur. Oh, he actually does. So good for him. Um, and f super useful having your Minotaur there waiting. Now well, he he de he delays it. He doesn't completely block it, so he delays the town center. Um, anyways, yeah. So then after you find your res important resources, then you want to scout your enemy's important resources. Um, yes, you want to try and keep your let's pause this you want to try and keep your um, your scout so that the edge of the line of sight I don't know maybe this would be a good spot so the edge of the line of sight of the whatever method of scouting it is is barely touching the edge so it's as efficient as possible you can use your goats to scout the map as well or pigs or you know um or pigs or cows whatever herdable the map offers you can use those to scout as well you can shift click your units to help you scout okay see he finished the obelisk and i shift clicked the priest to go right here directly after it helps a lot so just another thing to help you um to help you be successful at this game and make the most efficient and strategic decisions possible yes 
Scouting 101. That's it for this video.